town of about 2,300 people. A pretty popular tourist destination for a small town. We're probably most famously known as being the home of surfing legend Blake Oakfield. Blake is an absolute legend. In my book, you could not meet a nicer bloke. He's won world titles in surfing. He's put the town on the map. He's got his surf school, looks after the young blokes. I couldn't speak highly enough of him. I wouldn't say he's my favourite person. Um, yeah, bit of a smart aleck, um, in love with himself. He thinks he's, you know, this major hero in the local township and he's actually a dickhead. Hey, flaky boy! Him and his gang come into town, cause a lot of trouble amongst the locals. I'm not a fan of him at all. He's, uh, he's, he's I reckon he's trouble. Everyone pretty much got the wrong idea. They didn't realise that we, were, we weren't violent, we were about protecting Namaka Bay. This is our home. We've been here for generations. There's history. Why would we not stand up for our rights? Like, yeah, I was world champ, but I was also primarily a Maka Mad Boy. As a kid here, it was all time, good family environment. We got to about that age, like year four, five, six at Namaka West Prime, when we first picked up boards and we were just mad for it. All the boys from Namaka Bay, we knew them. Like, if you were in Namaka Bay, we knew you. Like, yeah. if we were hanging down in the milk yeah. bar and stuff, you're from Namaka Bay, g'day, you know. Yeah. You just didn't get along with the Fennel Heads guys. It was just kind of how it was. I guess at the end of the day, we had shit surf conditions. I mean, our break was nowhere near as good as theirs. The way we saw it, just because we came from Fennel Heads, you know, didn't mean that didn't mean we couldn't surf Namaka Bay. Blake and his boys thought otherwise, but you know, that's just the way it was. Yeah, they were a bunch of dickheads from day one. Like, they just... I remember they come over the headland just with their boards... Boy, I'm a mad boy. ..scrambling down onto our beach yeah. and just take over our waves. We just told them to fuck off, and that's when I formed the Mucka Mad Boys. It's a gang, it's a society of young surfers, just young blokes who wanted to surf their own waves, with the motto being, protect our bay. And they ripped off our idea and they formed the Fennel Hellman. And... We'd have big fights and stuff, just full fist fights, like boys getting hammered and that, and, and all the tourists and stuff, they'd get scared and they'd pack up their towels and shit and run away. What they didn't realise is we were just protecting it from the Fennel Heads fuckwits. We were making it a safer place for them. The headland became the divider that defined the gangs, so if you're a young guy and you're into surfing, then you were either with the Fennel Hellmen or the Mucka Mad Boys. It became more about the fighting and rather than surfing and protecting the beach. And like for a lot of young blokes in Namaka Bay, if you wanted protection from the Fennel Heads guys, you needed to be part of the Mucka Mad Boys. Yeah. You needed to be in the game. Him and his gang would come into town, cause a lot of trouble amongst the locals. They've caused trouble at the bowling club. So if they're around, People prefer to stay indoors just to stay out of their way. Play hard, mark hard is the motto. Yeah. And uh, it, it means play hard. Um, if you're going to surf, if you're going to party, if you're going to do anything, yeah. play it hard. If you're going to... Uh, and muck, mucker, I mean, na mucker, uh, it's the short for that, muck hard, meaning muck hard. This tat has a lot of value and if you, if you try to copy it or you try yeah. to get something similar, then we'll beat the shit out of you. Then there's the salute. This is, uh, represents the headland, the headland between Fennel Heads and Namaka Bay. This is the bay. So you've got your bay there. This is where you would go surfing if you were in the Namaka Bay. So you've got headland, headland. This hang loose represents surfing across the heart, across the heart, and make that firm at the end. So you go, oi, oi, oi. Maka, maka, maka. Oi, oi, oi. Yeah, and then there's the secret neck greeting. Like if you, uh, see another Namaka bloke, hey, how you going? Down the street, you give him a bit of this, the secret neck greeting, which is actually hang loose fingers around the neck, so do that. Maka mad boys, to us, they're like uh, a bunch of spoiled brats that never learned to share their toys. So the All we up. wanted to do was share the ocean with them. We're keeping the Fennel Heads fuckwits out of here, out of our beach, out of our town. Boy, boy, yeah, boy. if it wasn't for us, Namaka Bay would be a really different place. 